The 12 hotkeys on the left hand side of the theory board allow us to do something called direct modulation. This is when you shift the root note of a loaded scale. So it's the same scale but the root note is shifting. So if I shift from E flat mixolydian to G mixolydian, that would be considered direct modulation. So I start by playing an E flat mixolydian and then shift to F mixolydian. There's a slight variation, but the fundamentals of the scales are the same, so it's cohesive, but different in a similar way. You could do this in the middle of a 4 bar loop, or you could do this mid song to keep things from getting too repetitive. Now the 12 hot keys on the right hand side of the theory board allow us to do something called modal interchange. Here's a quick music lesson for you. Let's take the scale of A Byzantine. Obviously, the root note is going to be A. Now, the scale of A flat Byzantine has A in the second position. F Byzantine has A in the third position. E Byzantine has A in the fourth position. D Byzantine has A in the fifth position. D flat Byzantine has A in the sixth position. And finally, we have B flat Byzantine, which has A in the seventh position. Now, if we take the scale of A flat Byzantine and shift A to the root note, we now have the scale of A Lydian with a sharpened second and a sharpened sixth. So this becomes A Byzantine second mode. The same rule applies for the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh mode. These are your seven modes for A Byzantine. All right, let's take a listen to the subtle differences in tonality between these seven modes. Remember, these are very similar scales that share the same root note. For the most part, the only difference between the bass scale and the other modes is one or two notes raised or flattened. So sonically, they all have a relationship to each other, but with a slightly different vibe. And as you can see, every time a mode key is hit, the melody side and the chords are updated. Again, this could be done mid-bar or mid-song. You can insert a chord from one mode into another, or you can play a melody line from one mode on top of another. Regardless, they're going to work together and sound good musically. The five represents your pentatonic hotkey. This drops the two most useless notes. The remaining five notes are the most prominent of the scale, so technically they'll work the best together. By pressing the hotkey with a 12 on it, you're back in chromatic mode, but the notes of the scale you loaded retain their color information. You also have three user hotkeys. We automatically give you three scales that would work with the scale that you loaded, but eventually you'll be able to load any scale that you want to hot swap here. This will be turned on in a future update. 